<laughs> workshop. Oh, hell no! Chris Purr, is that you? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> How was your day, son? Oh, you know, Pops. Just trying to stay proper on my classwork, you know what I'm saying? You are keeping your grades up, right, Chris? Yeah. I love you and all, boy, but I think it's high time you graduated and move forward with your life. Don't worry, Pops. I'll be degrees now to here in no time. Just chill, dog. That's my guy. <clears throat> I'll be downstairs. Let me know if you want to shoot some hoops when you finish uh, with your homework. Yeah, Pops. I'll hit you up. Chill. <laughs> Yo, Moms, you hang around for a sec? Uh, I'll be right down heading now. Dinner is in ten minutes. No snacking. <laughs> <laughs> you shut the door, ho. What did I tell you about pilfering my stash, huh? See money gonna have to slap a skank? Oh, Chris, I'm sorry, I'm gonna pay you back. I just, I don't have any extra money to- What did I tell you before, ho, hmm? I'm gonna call you moms when you don't owe me cash. But right now, you owe me a hundo and you're pilfering my stash. So I'm gonna make this real clear. I'm gonna call you ho, and you refer to me as see money. You got it? Ho? Yes, see money. And cut! <laughs> cool. That was that was great, right? so great, Matthew. Thanks, man. This is the first day of shooting and you already own the guy. Please, it's me you're talking to. Get out of here. <laughs> Martha, great job as well. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Cool. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Ah, oh, that's great. You scared me. Oh, well, <laughs> just doing my job. That prop weed smells so real, right? What do you think it is? What do you think it is? <laughs> Grab me an egg. <laughs> Want yeah. an egg? Yeah. One from in here? One. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yes. <laughs> so this is, uh. Mm. All right. <laughs> and I feel my lungs constricting violently. My hands, they're dripping with sweat. And my, my heart is in my throat. Google. And for what? For what? You don't even see me. Your star shines so brightly in this vast expanse of darkness, and I am like a match burnt to its edge, about to expire. My fire will have extinguished. I shall never felt your touch. I shall die alone. Scene. <clears throat> wow. Let's see. I love that British accent. Thank you. But where is the passion, English? Where is the fire? You don't think I was passionate? Can I do it again? Oh, God, no. That monologue was terrible. Where did you get it from? Some trashy romance novel? It doesn't matter. I just wanted to see you up before I signed you a scene partner. Hmm. So, what type of roles do you normally play? What? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Let's see. Best friend, next door neighbor, and sweetheart. This town, it will drown you in fluff, dear. So, what do you have in mind? You are very likable. I want you to be a total bitch. <laughs> and I have the perfect scene partner for you, too. Ah, you'll see me afterwards. Okay, everyone, uh, take a 15 minute break. Uh, Papa Terry needs to further his nicotine habit and return a, an important call. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. All the times of you get sick, man. Damn it. <sighs> hey, Jeff, man, hey, make sure you're here by uh, 5.30, okay? Because uh, the limos are uh, gonna pick us up at 5.45. Okay. Uh, what time do you guys wanna start drinking? I don't even know if I'm in the mood for drinking, bro. Look at me, man. I'm horrible. 
but shit, I'll drink right now. I don't really care. But I told uh, Vivian and Sarah, I told to be here by four. Yeah, so I get them all liquored up, man. I bought like bottles from Costco, so we'll have fun. Hey, man, do you do really have to go look for a job right now, man? I mean, why don't you just wait till Monday, man? Come on. I mean, let's just start drinking right now. Come on, let's just start drinking. Dude, you are sounding so rough. You should take a decongestant so you're alert for tonight. And it's like, what, like 1.30 in the afternoon? If I start drinking now, I'm gonna be in bed by eight. I wanna make it late night. Uh, uh. Just make sure you're back in time, man, because you know how nervous I get. Oh, man, that's a nasty booger. Now I'm nervous I get at these things, man. All right. Uh, All right, well, I'll see you in a few hours. All right, man, I'll see you later, homie. All right. Later. Such a spectacular show. Such a great cause. You were all stunning up there. Thank you so much. It was a wonderful experience. Perfect. What a perfect event. Good job. Thanks, and thanks so much for coming. Well, you certainly know how to work it on a runway. What are you doing here? I'm scouting for talent. What else? There's certainly a lot of hot talent here. It's too bad those clothes are covering up all the goods. Yeah, well, it's nice to see you. Oh, wait, wait. Let me, um, talk to you for a second. You've been on my mind a lot lately. Are you auditioning? No, you dropped me, remember? Now my old agent hates me, so I currently don't have theatrical representation. Well, that sounds like you need an agent. And I need a gorgeous blonde on my roster, so... What about Vivian? I thought you signed her. Vivian! Right. I, you know what? I, I actually barely ever talked to her. Oh, God. Oh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I could spend it every night with you. Wow. That's great news. I learned something about Vivian. She's a one-trick pony. And I need talent that could perform lots of tricks. What are you applying for? Server. You look so familiar. Where do we know each other from? Did you used to be in Terry Tompkins' scene study class? That's it, yeah. 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 It's uh, Jeff, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw you in the school showcase. You were great. Thank you. Yeah. Look, you seem like a really cool guy. A piece of advice? Get out of here while you can. This place is a nightmare. Really? Why do you work here? Do you know how hard it is to find a server job in LA right now? I'm sore every day after I work here, and it's super uptight. Who the hell wants to wear a white dress shirt and a tie every day while sweating and handling food? I'm telling you, you will be. Please tell me that you are not harassing this interviewee. Is everyone in your section happily riding the Hummer limo ride of service? Get over there and make sure his iced tea doesn't go below the 50% danger mark. Girlfriend, anyways, right? You look better single. What? What does that mean? Hey, little girl in the green, will you step back, please? Hey, 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 stop, man. That's that's really cool. Look over this way, Adam. No, hey, you know, don't tell on, me buddy. what to do. Hey, you know, listen, Daddy. Hey, oh, come on. Hey, I love you. Hey, 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 Terrible. Who is that guy? Adam. 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 Hi. 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 Hey. Hey. James. Hey. 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 All right. Well, Adam, hey. welcome. Hey. This is right here. This is your big night. There's a lot of buzz around this movie, and it looks like this could be your breakthrough role. Yeah, 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 it sure beats doing uh, network promos. 
<laughs> well, isn't it true that it was those network promos that got you the exposure to get the audition? Yeah, yeah, you know, maybe, maybe. But uh, am I the only one who thought that uh, these network promos were ridiculous, huh? <laughs> Come on, right? That's all. Pretty lame. <laughs> all right, then. Well, let's talk about your movie instead. So, the fight director on this film is world-renowned. Yeah. What was it like preparing for such an intense, dark role? Man, I was, uh, I was so high. You know, on, on 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 concentration and focus and life and everything, and it's just like it all circumferenced, and I became that character. You know, I lived in a whole other world. It <laughs> sounds amazing. <laughs> well, great. Um, I don't want to keep you any longer. I know you have a lot of partying to do. And uh, um, hey, make sure to go watch Urban Tiger, cause I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. Right. She's all watching right. it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Good night. Bye. Well, there you have it. Sadly, another case of young Hollywood with a serious drug problem. Connie, back to you. Our celebrity cameraman caught up with rising star Adam Salter as he frolicked on the beaches of Santa Monica yesterday, getting these super sexy shots of Adam shirtless. Oh, yeah. Adam looks great, but there has been rampant speculation that his thin, ripped body is due less to exercise and more to a vicious drug habit after his disturbing interview at last Friday night's premiere of Urban Tiger. I'm so hot. Huh? Adam's publicist insists the actor had a cold and had taken a large amount of nighttime cold medicine. But Excess of Hollywood has an inside source that tells us that Adam has been fighting his drug battles for months. Which would explain his bizarre behavior while his popularity was at its peak in the world. Get Adam away from me! No! On the plus side, Urban Tiger dominated the box office, solidifying Adam as a bankable rising star. Rumor is that talks are already underway for Urban Tiger 2. Excess of Hollywood, we'll be right back. <sighs> well, you got what you wanted. Congrats, bro. You are now a bankable rising star. Don't forget about us when you get that star on the Walk of Fame. Please, just shut up. I don't want to be known as an emotional drug addict. Well, look at the bright side. You could be groveling for your old job back at the seafood slop house. See you later, brother. Hey, give me the seafood slop house special. Jeff? Jeff? Thank you. All right, who's next? SAG or non-union? Non-union. What's your name? Caitlin Murray. Murray, Murray, Murray. They are Catherine Murray. Oh, it's Caitlin. What? My name's Caitlin, not Catherine. Well, it says Catherine. Are you sure you're Caitlin? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's Caitlin with a Y. What? My name is spelled with a Y. K-A-I-T-L-Y-N. Are you going to be a huge pain in my ass all day, Catherine? No. I, I'm sorry, I just thought that you might want to know. Uh, yeah, no. You don't need to do any thinking. Your background will tell you where to go and what to do. And as I'm the second AD on this set, I'm your boss. And your boss says, don't be a huge pain in my ass. Next. Sagar non-union. Sagar. Name. What are you wearing there, Bambi? I booked you for another day of promo work on Relax Ambro. Yeah, I'm not doing that. What do you mean you're not doing that? I had to fight to get you on that promo team. Yeah, hi. Um, I was wondering, do you happen to have any more spots on your promo team? Her name? Rackasaurus Rex. <laughs> I was only making $15 an hour, but the girl I was working with was making 25 What'd she look like? Did she have a tight body? What? 
I don't know. You know, maybe you'd be making $25 an hour if you lost five pounds. You know, Sarah may be a terrible actress, but she can still shop in the juniors department. Really? Well, maybe you should just go and represent Sarah again then. I'm two steps ahead of you, sweetie. See, I have no need for two very similar blondes on my roster, so I'm gonna make it a horse race. The first one of you fillies to book a gig, I keep representing. The second gets sent out to pasture, okay? Oh, hey, I'll call you back. There he is, my favorite client. I can't believe how fast you just went through that eighth I brought you, okay? I can't keep taking this much wheat off set, somebody's gonna notice. Matthew, no one's going to notice, okay? Producers have more important things to do than track down a quarter ounce of wheat. All right, we'll just try to take it easy, okay, man? Slow down, because I got a great gig on this show and I don't want to blow it like I did last time on Absolute Opposites. I know you remember that. Matthew, you have nothing to worry about. Jeremy Levine and Tom Potts, two of the most laid-back producers in this city, all right? You just keep doing a good job on set, and no one's gonna care how much weed you score me. I will just try to savor some of this. I'm gonna savor it, all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <sighs> okay. Get lost. Get lost? That's it? Yeah. Thought I was your favorite client. F*** off. You know, I'd love to have you back, Jeff. It's just that we're all stopped up at the moment. Oh, come on, Carol. I beg you, I need this job. Hey, Grandpa! I saw your beaver commercial. I'm sorry, Jeff. We just don't have any server positions open. And honestly, do you really want to come back here? I mean, you're older than me. Hey, what's up, Grandpa? Wait, Craig is a manager now? Is he still in college? Craig just turned 21, he takes one class per semester, and you know, he was the oldest employee after you left, so, yeah. Why don't you look into getting a job in the corporate office? No, I don't want to get a full-time job. I won't have enough time to focus on acting. Right. Please, I just need one or two shifts a week. Please? Hey, what's wrong? <laughs> Welcome back to the Adams Agency. It's on, bitch. I've worked too hard to get dropped now. <coughs> Where's all the work for tonight, people? Hmm? There are four people Signed up. Four! And three of them are monologues. One scene. Come on, don't be scared of each other, people! Fine. Fine. Terry hates to do this, but I'm gonna have to call people out. Sarah Clarkson looking down. What do you think, I don't see you sitting there in the back? What are you doing, sweetheart? Collecting dust? I can't even remember the last time I saw you put something up. I'm sorry, Terry, I tried, but... Terry is in fuego right now. No more excuses. And you, you, what about you, British, hmm? What happened to that scene that I assigned you, hmm? I'm having some issues with my scene partner, Terry. Issues? Issues with Walter? What is wrong with Walter? George, George! You lousy sack of worthless garbage. You sorry excuse for a human being. You get down here and make me my dinner. I'm sorry, miss, but I was upstairs folding your laundry. Yeah, 
folding it badly, I'm sure. You are pathetic. You may as well die right now for all I care. John, Walter, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Oh, I'm sorry, are you okay? He was weeping. I felt like I was yelling at my granddad. Have you been in this class one day? Walter is always crying. He cries when we call him to tell him his class payment is due. That look. Don't you dare. I hate my life. All right, fine. I will reassign you. You are going to work with Sarah, but don't you think for one minute that you are going to get away without doing the scene where you are mean. Can you put me with someone else, please, Terry? Hey, please, Terry, we really don't want to work together. <laughs> Having a little cat fight, lady? <laughs> this is delicious. Oh, you are definitely working together now. Oh, yeah. Let the fur fly, bitches. <laughs> All righty. Somebody get up. Anybody. I don't even give a crap who. Somebody get up! Do we Next time on Workshop. How long did it take you to get your SAG vouchers? I got tired of waiting for the second aid day. <laughs> they took pictures of me topless. Like, what happens to those pictures? You know these horror films. The Warminator is horny! <laughs> <laughs> Why are people saying that I'm a drug addict? Are you a drug addict? No! You guys sure this is cool? <laughs> we still got a half day of shooting left. No one on this set cares what you do.